Hey, what's up everyone? Richard Aguilar is back with another amazing video. So in today's story, we delve into the cutting-edge Chinese Belt modern transportation projects being constructed in other countries. China's reputation for its innovative technology and engineering is well known. From high-speed rail to bridges and airports, China is not only creating transportation infrastructure that is modern and efficient, but also environmentally conscious and sustainable. So join us as we take a closer look at these impressive projects and how they are shaping the future of transportation in foreign countries. Take a look at this Chinese-built Peljasak Bridge in Croatia is a major infrastructure project that has officially opened to traffic. The bridge connects the two parts of Croatia's coastline for the first time, providing an important new transportation route for locals and visitors alike. The bridge is a cable-stayed bridge with six pylons and steel box girders, and its total length is 2.4 kilometers. The construction of the bridge was contracted by a Chinese consortium and it is a symbol of the growing ties between China and Croatia. The bridge will make it much easier for people to travel between the mainland and the Peljasak Peninsula, which is a popular tourist destination known for its beautiful beaches and scenic coastal roads. The bridge not only improves the connectivity between the two parts of Croatia but also helped to boost the local economy. Another one in here. We have the new Phnom Penh International Airport which was constructed by a Chinese company. It was expected to have a significant impact on Cambodia's economic development and tourism industry. The airport will be able to handle a larger capacity of passengers and cargo, making it easier for people to travel to and from Cambodia. This will attract more tourists and investors to the country, which in turn will boost the economy. Additionally, the construction of the airport will also create job opportunities and generate income for the local community. Overall, the new airport is expected to be a major catalyst for economic growth and development in Cambodia, as it will serve as a hub for trade, tourism, and investment. Next one on the list, we have the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor, which is a multi-billion dollar infrastructure and development project between China and Pakistan. One of the key components of CPEC is the plus or minus 660 kV Matiari Lahore High Voltage Direct Current Transmission Project. This project aims to address the chronic power shortage issue in northern Pakistan by connecting the Matiari Power Station in Sindh Province with Lahore, the second largest city in Pakistan. The HVDC transmission system uses direct current to transmit electricity over long distances, which is more efficient and cost-effective than traditional alternating current transmission systems. Here is a highway project under the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor that has not only improved regional connectivity in Pakistan but also brought financial benefits to the locals. The Karakoram Highway Phase 2 project was constructed by the China Communications Construction Company. The 118 km long road links the heartland of Pakistan with its remote northern region and financial center in the south.
It is comprised of 105 bridges and 6 tunnels. Using state-of-the-art technology and design, it is CPEC's largest transport infrastructure project. The project has also created jobs for locals and facilitated trade as it enhanced connectivity in the country. The 450 kilometers long Mecca Medina High Speed Railway was built by China Railway 18th Bureau Group. It crosses the desert and links the holy cities of Mecca and Medina. Designed with a maximum speed of 360 km per hour, it is not only the first double-track electrified high-speed railway in Saudi Arabia, but also the world's first desert high-speed railway to have Chinese companies involved in its construction. The high-speed railway has brought a new experience of traveling on land in Saudi Arabia. It has changed the appearance of the cities and boosted economic development in locations along the route. The China Maldives Friendship Bridge and the five bridges built on Hohumail Island are examples of the infrastructure projects that China has undertaken in Maldives. These bridges have greatly facilitated travel within the tropical island paradise. The China Maldives Friendship Bridge, for instance, is a landmark infrastructure project that connects the Maldivian capital city of Malay with the nearby island of Hulule. The bridge, which is the first ever cross-sea bridge in Maldives, provides a convenient and efficient means of transportation for the residents and visitors of the island nation. The Chinese-built Mombasa-Nairobi Standard Gauge Railway is a key infrastructure project in Kenya that has greatly improved transportation in the country. The railway, which was built by a Chinese consortium, connects the port city of Mombasa with the capital city of Nairobi, and it has greatly reduced the travel time between the two cities. This has led to an increase in the mobility of passengers, goods, and services, which has in turn brought new vitality to Kenya's economy. So, that ends our story for today. I hope you found this to be interesting, and if you did, please leave a like and share this with others. Thanks for watching and see you on my next video.